Happy Monday! Woo -hoo. Um, I promise these announcements are not being done while driving. To chat. We are, but that does not mean that people still cannot get on board. So challenge packs from SMOS and Lift 4 are still $10 off. So capitalize on that. Uh, other than posting a thing right now to, <laughs> to everyone that hit Success Club points, it, part, they're making a $200 donation, I think it is, to a charity um, to help families in need. So guys, our, our company is giving back to others just as much as we are. So um, it doesn't stop with us. So keep changing lives and making it happen um, and earn that hat for our first month in the new success point reward majinger. So have a great day. That's all I've got. Uh, short. Thanks, Bree. I know you're driving. I don't know where Claire is, but I'll stall for a little bit. Um, so I have some recognition to do. Ooh, I'm going to mute you, Angie. Um, Okay, so first off, Allie Lloyd's not here because I know she works late, but she earned Success Starters month two. She's got one more month till she earns her free ticket to Summit. Jill and Allie both have earned $200 towards International Justice Mission, so I'm super duper proud of you guys. Basically, how you earn that is you beat your best this month. You get the most success club points, you help the most people that you've ever helped, and Beachbody's gonna put that money, like Brie was saying, towards international justice mission. So I'm super proud of you guys. Um, Brianna goes Emerald Thursday. Shout out to you, girlfriend. Danielle B and Jill are at SC10. Lindsay, Allie, Claire are at five. And you guys, please add announcements after me. I just have a lot, sorry, not sorry. Um, Katie sent me a picture that she's at size four today. Like, I think the girl started at size 12 earlier this year, so super duper, 16, I don't know. 16 she started at, so pretty baller, guys. We're changing lives. Um, and, oh, for my team, keep using the Lift Sneak Peek Hub, keep using the workout, Lift for is still ten dollars off this month, so use that to your advantage, guys. Like that's a huge thing. Um, and then we're gonna do a coach sneak peek next week, and I know Rachel's team has a coach sneak peek running as well. So we're all on the same wavelength with that. Did anybody else have any other recognition that they wanted to do? And Danielle, we have another Danielle on my team now. It's her first team call. I see you, girl. Shout out to you, Danielle for officially becoming a six-figure earner in this business, which is such a huge accomplishment. Guys, that is not to be taken lightly. That is badass work doing that part-time. So, hell yeah. If anybody can do it, guys. Anybody, anybody? Any other recognition, guys? All right. Well, my girl, I know she's eating, Prego, <laughs> Prego Life. Um, it's totally cool, Claire. So Claire has been a coach of mine for over three years now. We've been through ups, downs, shifts, changes, all the stuff, and um, marriages and babies now, and it's crazy. But we have been working really closely lately. You guys know my team's pushing for some really big goals in the next week or so, but really this year, and I know all of us are, right? We all have big goals. And I thought it was about time to get back to the real reason of why we do what we do, right? It's so easy to sit behind a computer or sit on your phone and feel like, oh, I got to send another message. I got to do a post, but my coach is telling me to do this or sign up my spouse. And so I thought it was about time on the last, wait, is this the last Monday of July? Maybe second to last whatever. We talked about it as leaders and we thought it would be a good time to talk about your why power because Claire has had a pretty unique journey and I wanted her to share, you know, she's on fire guys. Like the girl is at SE 12 combined between two accounts and she is somebody that will tell you like she goes through ups and downs in this business just like anybody else. And I just 
can't wait for her to share a little bit of that fire that she's been really rebuilding and, and reinvigorating into herself. And that's just how things go, right? You find your energy and you share the ish out of it. So I'm going to shut up now and hopefully she's done eating so she can take it away. Um, true story. I've been meal prepping for the last like two hours and my um, pregnancy brain should have started the rice earlier because then I could have eaten like 20 minutes earlier, but whatever. That's just the way life goes. Um, anyways, hi guys. Um, there's some faces on most, I know most of the faces on here. There's some other faces that maybe I don't know as well, but, um, love to be a part of, um, tonight's call. Um, I actually really do love speaking and, and leading and, um, that's kind of part of a little bit of my story with coaching. Um, so I'm not going to like share my whole story, but, um, uh, one thing that, um, between Danielle's team and my team that we've been talking a lot about as we've been pushing some for some really big goals right now, we've just been talking about like the importance of consistency. I know we talked about that a lot last week in our call last week. We were like, everyone was like, okay, in general, like other than our brand new baby coaches, you know, um, we know what to do. Right. And, um, you know, knowing what to do is kind of like the first step, right? And then just doing, you know, quote unquote, showing up and doing it, right, is the other piece. And I've been a coach for three years now. Actually, my anniversary was essentially this month or the end of June. So this is like my three year anniversary. And I've gone through so many ups and downs. And um, I've, you know, literally hit all like Success Club All Star. I've lost it. I've hit Success Club many months in a row. I've, I've hit some, some cool rank um, achievements and lost it. You know, I've, I feel like I've, I, I shouldn't say I've gone through it all, but as far as like mentally, emotionally, um, I feel like I've definitely hit that. And I've gone through so many life changes in being a coach. And um, I think it's fair to say that through lots of ups and downs that I've had, that most seasons that I've gone through in my life, most coaches would have quit. Like most people that I've seen come in and on to my team, had they had the same challenges, they would have quit. Or frankly, that's why they're not on this call right now. Not, you know, saying any shame in that. But the reason why I'm here and still here is one, because of my why, um, but two, um, because I just, well, I mean, actually there's many reasons why I never gave up, but, um, I, I think that has a huge part in playing and how and why you, you focus and, and hit goals. Um, so I want to start before we talk about, you know, going into using your why power specifically, I wanted to specifically share with you guys, um, a little practice that I'm doing right now that, and again, this might not be everybody's cup of tea, but the reason I'm going to share with share it with you guys is because I myself have gotten very much stuck in the past of, um, you know, okay, like I'm an, I'm an, I'm a morning bird. So if you follow me on like Insta stories or anything like that, you'll see that I'm usually up like in the morning, in, probably not as early as I used to be, but in general, like I, I'm usually like to get up in the morning, you know, do my work. Um, I like to get it done early and out of the way. Um, and I know what it's like to get stuck in the routine of like, okay, like wake up, send invites, like, Hey girl, kind of like sort of doing it robotically as opposed to doing it with like love and excitement behind your heart. Um, sorry, I'm, I have to keep readjusting this light. I'm like sweating profusely. There's literally a fan like 12 inches from me right now. So this is my life. Um, it's also humid as heck in Maryland. So, um, anyways, um, so I'm telling you this because I remember I was probably around this time last year. I was like, I, I knew what to do with my power hours. I was doing them, but I wasn't seeing the results I wanted. And I was frustrated because not, and I let myself slip into the comparison game. I saw my own coach, um, Danielle, she was actually in a test group last year. Not only was she smoking it with her health and fitness, her business was taking off. And I was like, huh, looking at my body and looking at my business. And I was like, hmm, this kind of sucks right now. <laughs> and if any of you guys have ever felt like that, um, whether it's one or the other, that's like a really key moment that you really need to reevaluate. And, and I worked on, I tried working on reevaluation, but, um, I slowly let myself get stuck in a negativity um, and, and doubting myself. And if you're in a place of doubting yourself or feeling frustrated or you're not hitting the goals you want to do, I want to hopefully hope I, my I hope is to re-inspire you to re um, evaluate your practices um, and kind of, and how you're doing them because um, 
I mean, one of the first things that helped me, one, if you don't do this already, is um, get on a one-on-one -on -one with your coach. Like, if you don't do that, I mean, Danielle and I might not always be perfect about doing them weekly, but we sure as heck, like, talk pretty darn regularly. Um, but we do make a point, like, we probably don't go more than two weeks without, a, like, an actual one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but I, the reason I say that is because there have been times in, when I really doubted myself and it's just like kind of like God's intervention, like Danielle will just like, all of a sudden I'll get like a message from her and it's like her belief in me, like re like it fires up my soul and seeing her chasing after these goals being like, wait, like I don't want to be left in the dust. Like I want to chase these with you. And that's what's one re fired me up, but you can't let that be your driving factor. You can't let somebody else's desires and goals be the reason why you're running because you have to have your own reasons for why you're running in the first place. And if you don't have them, then you're just going to fall flat on your face. So one, make sure you're doing those because I truly believe that some, sometimes we need somebody else to believe in us before we can believe in ourselves. Um, and if you ever struggle with self-doubt like me, sometimes that's just kind of like an important piece of the puzzle. Um, so make sure you're incorporating that at least a couple times into your month and check it, you know, be, you know, checking in with your, with your team and all of that. So let me get into the practice that I've been doing. So again, if you've been following me on my Insta stories and you probably know a little bit about this, um, I've done something similar like this before. Um, but for as much personal development as I digest, um, I think some of the big key things that I've heard from top leaders across almost all industries, period, is that incorporating um, things like gratefulness, positive affirmations, reaffirming your goals, visualization, and I'm going to call this silence slash meditation, okay? Um, and you'll also hear like, you know, health and fitness, right? Like, and this goes across like top, like industry leaders everywhere. Um, like, you know, about when you, when you hear, when you listen to different personal development books and leaders and speakers, those are the things that come up like, you know, like, what's your morning routine? Like, what do you do? Blah, blah. You're going to hear that consistently all the time. And I've heard it all the time. And guys, like we've been listening to personal development all the time. If you're on this call, you should be, um, you should be listening or reading, sorry, I say listening because I'm a, like audible fanatic because I can't read a book to save my life. Um, but you should be digesting some kind of personal development. And I'm really good about digesting, but I'm not always a great about putting it into practice. So uh, this is something I have this, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have a running list of like all these things that I say I want to do. Um, and I kind of got sick and tired of being sick and tired, which is if you listen to my story long enough, you'll see that reoccur in my posts all the time. But um, towards the end of June, like when Danielle and I were like prepping to talk more about pushing our teams for some big goals, I was like, I drew the line in, my, in the sand and I said in July that I was officially going to do this. And I was like, I don't have a notebook or like a, you know, one of those like the smart, the, you know, Shalene Johnson's like smart goal, like journal, whatever. I was like, you know what, F it. I've got, a, I've got my own notebook that somebody gave me. Um, and you know me, it's all about donuts. So I was like, this is perfect because this is so me. It was a blank journal. And I just decided that I'm going to re I'm going to incorporate these things into my life. So here's what I do. So every morning that I sit down to do work, um, which has actually been even including on the weekends, I've actually been put, like, usually I, I used to give myself off Saturday and Sundays, but every time I sit down to do work, um, I write at the top of the date, I write the date at the top, sorry. And then I write three lines. I write grateful, I write affirmations, and I write goals. And then I set a timer for five minutes and I put my phone like face down and I fill out as much as possible in here. And I'll tell you, and I, I do that in that order, grateful, affirmations, and goals. Um, I've been doing this, I can tell you, I've only, I haven't been doing this for this that long. I literally started July 2nd because I think the first was like a Sunday. So I literally started this the beginning of this month. Um, and I actually really believe, and I know that I haven't been doing this for like, you know, months and months and months or anything like that, but I'm telling you this because I've already hit more than half of my goals this month as a result. Um, you know, I mean, I, I will say, I think I was pushing really hard in June when we were preparing for the lift for launch, but I've actually been amazed because this has been the one big game changer 
or a big thing that I changed in my daily behavior um, as opposed to something that I wasn't doing last month. So what I do when I come down, and I left out this part, and I apologize. When I sit down at my desk, I'm the kind of person that because I have so many things going on in my head, I have so many ideas, I have so many thoughts. I, I have a constant running to-do list. It's like like white noise, but it's not. <laughs> because I also work from home, like um, it's also really easily for me to get distracted about like my boss is emailing me. I have to like do this and I do that. Or, you know, um, we have a baby coming in less than three months. So I'm thinking about all these like baby things and I have all of like my mind can just be like a mess. So what I find is that I would sit down and say, oh, I'll like, you know, drink my energize for 30 minutes, you know, to an hour, then do my workout. But literally two to three hours will go by and I haven't even started my workout or even done my power hour because I think I'm trying to do all these things and be productive and multitask. And I'm, 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 I'm doing when I, and I wish I remember where I heard this, but I was, I was chasing after the day as opposed to trying to plan and run my day. I was letting the day run me. And there are definitely days that you know you just that you can't help but sometimes be chasing that, but what I realized is that I wasn't doing anything like this. I was like, oh, I listen to personal development. I do all this self-care. I work out. Like, I do so much for myself, like blah, blah, blah. But here I am still like a mental mess. And so like, you know, distracted and not mentally focused. Um, and I would say like, these are all great things on paper, but I wasn't practicing them. And, um, and I was like, you know what? So before I even open my laptop, I'm not actually, I, I did this today because I, I can be very robotic. I actually opened my laptop and I was like, Oh crap. And I slammed it shut because I hadn't done this yet. So I literally have my notebook. is like literally like you can't see my desk, but it's like right here. I pull this out. Um, I literally, um, what helps me to remember not to open my laptop is I put my energize on top of my laptop and, um, <laughs> like, no, you clearly can't open your laptop, but that's part of my problem is that I open my laptop and I'm like, Oh, it'll take me five minutes to look up something on Amazon. It'll take me five minutes to respond to this email. It'll take me two seconds just to like, look at this, like, Thing on bye bye baby that I need to check out on my registry or whatever you know and and all of a sudden that five minutes is like 18 hours like that is literally my life um so I set a timer for five minutes and I fill this out and um I love the part about starting with gratefulness because that area actually changes a little bit every day and um you know there's actually been a lot that's kind of going on in my life right now between the baby um you know I'll I'll publicly say this, my grandfather is sick and not doing well and doesn't have much time left. So it's actually been a really wonderful way for me to reflect. Um, and something I struggle with is the positive affirmations. Um, I've, I've done this practice before and I forget who, um, oh, what book was it? It wasn't, um, oh, Miracle Morning, Miracle Morning, they talk about this. That's another phenomenal book that I also need to re-listen to. Um, but um, I, I love that. They're not always, and my affirmations are, again, they're all very personal to me. If you don't know where, if you don't know what to say about positive affirmations, it's just you're writing statements that basically start with like, I am blank, you know, um, and it's something positive about yourself. And they're not always, for me, they're not always business related. Um, sometimes they're very personal because I believe that whatever's going on in your personal ish is affecting you and it's affecting your business. And it's like literally coming out and coming out into the universe, coming out through your posts, coming out in your challenge groups, everything. Um, and I'm absolutely guilty of this all the flipping time. So, um, I really like the pot, the affirmations part because that's kind of like my part to kind of like give self love back to me. And I, what I've been finding is that the more that I kind of like preach this positivity about myself, the more that like, you know, even if I don't believe it today, like I'm putting that out into the universe. So then the last part is the goals. And this is like a, this I will say is a lot more of my business goals, but, um, when I write my goals and granted, if I had a bigger notebook, I could probably fit in more goals because <laughs> I know I have a lot more goals. Like a lot of times I have, I think I can, I, I think on average I'm writing about four to seven goals a day, depending on how I space my, <laughs> space my lines or whatever. And again, I'm working on a timer here. I only have five minutes, but, um, you know, I, I'm thinking about 
where do I want to be um, by the end of December when I think about my business? And then I'm also kind of incorporating things like, um, you know, what do I see for myself for the next two to five years? Like, what do I want? Um, so I'll actually, I'll be really transparent and share with you guys, um, what's on my goal list, just if you guys wanted an example. So if you, um, because sometimes I felt silly when I would write these goals down, but, um, you know, I, I really believe that when you write things down daily, you're not only visually seeing them, but you're speaking them into your heart. You're speaking them into the universe. You're speaking them into the world. Um, so it's not a wish. It's not a like, hey, God, can you, you know, grant this to me? But it's you're practicing believing that what's on paper can and will become true one day. And if you, again, if you're struggling with self-doubt, you need to do this like tomorrow. <laughs> um, because I constantly struggle with self-doubt and, and sometimes I would write this down and I'm like, who the heck do I think I am? Like, I mean, after, ever since I've been practicing this, like I feel so much better about it. But before this month, I didn't want to practice it because I was like, who, like, I'm just clear, like this, that girl can't, can't achieve these things. And if you, and I'm telling you right now, if you feel like you can't achieve X, Y, Z, literally like start this tomorrow and like text me or like message me and say, Hey, Oh my God, I did this. Um, but, um, so my goals that I wrote down again, I, I feel like I sound like a crazy person when I read them out loud, but, um, uh, there was an amazing team call we had with Chris Downing, um, two months ago, maybe three months ago, it was earlier this year. And he talked about writing a letter to yourself and reading that every single day. And that's kind of what this exactly reminds me of. And this is, again, it's kind of like hitting your why. And I know what my, and we're going to get to that. We're going to talk a little bit more about your why after this, but I wanted to talk about this practice first because you have to practice this on a daily basis. So my goals, <laughs> and this is me just being really transparent and me being really, I'm being very vulnerable right now. So uh, I said, I am a three-star diamond team. I'm a 5K a month earner. I am debt-free. I've paid off all my car and student loans. My team is chasing after their dreams. We are living in our dream home, and we have 100K saved up. So that's what I wrote down today. And they, the top three pretty much don't change right now. Um, some of these are personal. Um, you know, but a lot of these are my business goals. Um, and I won't lie to you, that first one scares the living shish out of me because I'm like, I don't know or see how that's possible right now, but it's not about knowing how it's possible. It's about just believing that you are capable of getting there. And I'm not watching my coach right now uh, be inches away from one of the biggest goals our team has ever hit together that I'm like, why the heck not? So do this practice or I'm not telling you saying that you have to do it my way, but let me tell you, this has, I actually get excited to start my day. Every, like I do not let myself open my computer, do a power hour um, or start or do a workout or anything until I have done this. Um, the last piece I'll say um, so I, I, earlier I mentioned like, you know, silence and meditation. Um, and I, there's a, there's, there's this girl that I follow on Instagram. So I got the idea from her. So after I do five minutes of this, I put my journal away. There's an app called Headspace and it's, it's actually a meditation app. Um, I'm not like soul searching or anything, right? Like, or finding my spiritual guru at the moment, but actually, um, it, I'm literally, I, it's another five minutes, which is, I love this. I'm like five minutes. I, I was like, I can do five minutes. You can't tell me that you don't have five minutes to write down gratefulness, affirmations, and goals. Like that's three things you're hitting on. That's awesome. That's a lot of stuff right there. And then five minutes for silence because I need to practice silencing my flipping brain. <laughs> I seriously do. I probably need an hour or like, tw you know, 23 hours to do that. But I literally do those back to back. And then I open my computer and um, those on Danielle and I's team know on my, um, I created a new power hour sheet um, tracker form. And literally these four things are at the top of my list. Like I said, they're above my actual power. It says grateful, positive affirmations, silence, meditation, and goals. Those are the four boxes that I have to check before I can do any of 
the other stuff. If you, and also side note, um, I, if anybody wants this power hour sheet, I'm happy to share it with you guys. Um, I do know I have wanted to make some slight revisions to it, but, um, I, I'm a, I'm a box checker. So I kind of like visually seeing that. Um, anyway, so the app is headspace again. Um, I really like it because again, it forces me to be quiet. It forces me to be okay. And it forces me to remember that, um, like one thing I learned for myself when I was doing this the other day, um, was that, uh, I, I, so my mind just wants to jump to productivity. My, my mind just wants to jump to what do I have to do? And, um, it's a reminder that you can't, you have to be in a space of gratefulness and love. And, um, the word that, um, I've heard a lot is being, um, content where you are. Um, and content doesn't mean complacent, you know, it doesn't mean that you're not chasing after your goals, but it's about being content. So those are, those are sort of a huge part of, um, what I've been doing right now. So I kind of wanted to, I, shift slightly to talk about using your why power to fuel yourself um, because it's not just good enough to say like to write down your goals and and say like oh my gosh I want to pay off all these debts I want to hit success club 10 because I was theoretically doing a lot of these same things every month like I would there's a little dry erase board that I have here I would write down my goals every month and I would but I the problem was and I knew my why but I wrote it down like three years ago <laughs> and I know we have newer coaches on the call. So maybe you wrote down your, you know, your, your why a month or a couple months ago or even a year ago. But if you've been in this business in a, a while, guys, I'm here to tell you that you have to constantly be reminding yourself of why you're here. Not just, you know, it's not like, you know, so I got like kind of unattached to hitting success club or because I got frustrated. I was like, I'm writing down the same goals every month and I'm not hitting them. And I was frustrated and I let myself get down and I let myself get discouraged and let myself talk. And I basically talked myself out of believing that I was capable of achieving them. It's like the other people around me clearly can, but I, maybe I'm just not. Um, so, um, so I wanted to practice this a little you know, I wanted to have you guys, if you have a piece of paper or a little notepad, or maybe just on your note section on your phone, start to jot down a few ideas with me as we go through this right now. Because I know personally, like I was realizing, like in addition to this little practice, um, re Danielle said, recently sent our team um, kind of like a check-in form and it got deep. And I was like, dang, like I really need to spend a lot of time going through this and filling it out. And I, and I had started it, but I need to kind of go back because it, it actually really, um, forced me to kind of dig back deep into, you know, why I'm here, why do I still, you know, show up and what is like my future plan? Like, you know, um, because it has to be bigger than, you know, I want to help people and, you know, I, I'm, I want to hit success club. Like those aren't strong enough things. They, re they really truly aren't. They're not going to keep you showing up um, every day. Now, granted, I will say that like right now, what invigorates me and excites me is working towards these big goals. But, um, what's behind that is like, oh my, it's like, I'm starting to actually really visualize like how I would feel when that, when that happens. Um, they say that, you know, like if, for instance, if you're pushing for diamond, you know, diamond doesn't change your life. And I'll be the first to tell you it doesn't. You should absolutely be pushing for diamond because you can't get to the next level if you don't hit that first. But um, that's not your end goal, you know. And um, but I, I'm I'm visualizing how I'm going to feel behind it. Like, you know, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my family? What does that mean for my, my future daughter? You know, what would that mean? for Richard, like if I could like, you know, show him that I achieved these things. So, um, on, on a little note section on your phone or notepad or whatever, and you're not going to be able to write all of the, you know, start writing a paragraph or anything like that. Even if it's just a few words, you know, I think we should practice this exercise together because again, we always say, Oh yeah, I'll do that. Or I'll get to that. When, I mean, Chris Downey made me flip and cry on his like hour and a half long call. And I was like, oh my God, I'm going to write a letter to myself. And I never did. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I'm encouraging you to just use this as a jumping point for yourself. But, um, but, you know, make a point to go back. So first I want to ask you, what is your story? So start with what is your 
story. And that's essentially, you know, why, why are you here? Like, why did you get started? What is your story? Um, so as you're jotting down a few of those things, you can just be a few words or whatever. Um, you know, I'm constantly reminded, like when I go to post every day and sometimes I do get, you know, writer's block, whatever, when it comes to posting on social media, but it is, it is an honor guys that we get to show up on social media and be ourselves and, and share that with the world. So when you, when you think about what is your story and like why you chose to become a coach that has tremendous meaning. And, um, <clears throat> that's, that's like a hundred percent vital for your why power because you're not going to show up and do the work if you don't know that. So think about that. Um, <clears throat> Next is um, why, uh, it, it, again, I apologize that I'm kind of have like two part questions when I ask you all of this. This is again, a factor of my brain and it's like after eight o'clock. Um, why do you want to be here as a coach? So there's, what's your story? But then like, why are you coaching? And Danielle says this all the time, um, not, you know, we, we tell this to our coaches, but you know, you can't, it can't just be, I want to help people be fit and healthy because anybody can do that. But like, why, why do you want to be here? Like, why are you a beach body coach? Like, why are you a team beach body coach? Like, why are you on this team? Why are you on this call? What does that mean to you? Sorry, these are like really heavy loaded and you're not gonna be able to answer all this right now, but just jot down a few words, slight little phrases and whatever that means to you. Um, you know, just kind of start like thinking about that. Uh, while you do that, let me see if I can pull up. I lost my other point. It's amazing, I'm like, dang, I really need an assistant because someone needs to manage this brain of mine. <laughs> And I can actually promise you, I'm not gonna be able to find the other document I was looking at, um, but it's okay. Um, Cause I think I still know what I want to tell you. So what is your story? Why do you want to be here? Why are you a coach? Um, three, um, what, what is your five year vision for yourself? It can be three, it can be five, but I just, I think five is reasonable um, because you know, if you're not thinking long term of your future, um, then, you know, again, it's like uh, you hear it all the time from top coaches and everybody, you know, um, if you don't know, like what you're pushing for, like big picture, then as soon as life gets hard, like this business is the first thing to go always. And, you know, and there will be, always be things that are going to come up in, like, in, in life that are going to be extremely challenging. Like I said, I'm already talking and I told you guys about my grandfather and you know that like, I don't expect to get a power hour done when, when those days get really tough. Um, uh, but, uh, you need to know, like guys, like even last month I was not doing power hours on the weekend. All of a sudden I'm like fired up texting my team. Like who wants to grind with me? Literally Danielle and I were doing working together at six 30 on Friday night. Cause we just felt like it. Like that's how flippin nerdy we are. And like, I was so fired up and excited to be doing this. And I was like, okay, I should probably go like say hi to my husband now. Um, <laughs> but if, if you don't get excited about doing that, then like maybe you should, or maybe you should, and be like crazy nerdy like Danielle and I right now but um that's how fired up we are about these goals right now um so what is your five-year vision um and I like I said I just lost my other point um because my document went away on my phone um but uh so why are you here or sorry what is your story why are you here what is um your five-year vision and I think the last point I'll kind of say is like, why is any and all of this even important to you? Like, like why, why is achieve like, you know, if you're talking about your goals, like why is any, any of, of being of this important to you? Um, again, and I think, I think that's, that's a real big thing. And I, and I used to have these questions set up where I could send them to my new coaches to really have them think about it. Um, you know, I apologize guys. I don't have like one, like simple little questions for you guys. I have like so many layers, which is why it's a form because usually it's just like 
four to five questions where it's like, I'm hitting you guys with like 12. Um, but, I, but, you know, I think that's what's important is that you have to be thinking about this on a deep level. And, um, you know, I know that uh, like sitting on this call, I'm seeing like a bunch of like my OG teammates on here. We've been here for a couple of years and I know it's so important to, you know, be rethinking about this. And for my, and for the girls that who have been coaching for less than that, like, you know, don't think that you're off the hook. They're like, Oh, I just started coaching like a, like a year ago or a couple months ago. Like I know my why I'm good to go. Like guys, you need to keep your why like in your flipping pocket and your pocket needs to be like right. I'm like, where's my heart here? <laughs> you know, you got to keep it super close to you. Um, you know, like actually if you, even if you saw my desk right now, like I have, like, I do actually have, uh, my, my goals written out like right in front of me. Um, I have my journal that's right here. Um, and, um, the next step is that I probably need my, my why, like, right, you know, like actually right there, but I do have a vision board also over here. I'm saying this like you can see my office, but whatever. Um, so, um, kind of been wrapping up. I know that I'm, I'm kind of talking all over the place. My point behind all of this and using your why power and why I've been loving this practice right now is because once I do this, like, and cause I, I do this and then I do my five minutes of meditation, then I let myself open my computer and you know, I'm, then I can like, okay, you can work on your computer until you finish your energize and you got to work out and then, then, you know, whatever, get on with the day. Um, that fuels my power hour, whether I'm doing it the moment that I open my computer or if I'm doing it after my workout or whatever, like it's a reminder that I know that I revisited my goals that day. And, um, I've been practice, you know, practicing the gratefulness, like really centers my heart and makes me feel so much better. Like I have so much more self-confidence right now as a result of, of doing these things. And not to say that we're not all going to have like bad days and like wonky days, like that's going to happen. But, um, and I've had my share of them already this month. Um, but, uh, you know, you, if, if you're a coach on this call, you likely know the things that you have to do in order to be successful in this business, like post on social media, be a proof of the product, um, share your journey, invite, do a power hour, like do your business acti activities. And, you know, um, when you've been in this business for a while, um, you know, again, those things start to feel a little bit robotic. And um, if you're not, you know, remembering why, you're, you're doing them every day. It doesn't really matter if you have a really cool, fancy dancy uh, tracker sheet like I do, because <laughs> if you're not doing all this, the stuff behind it, it's not going to have any meaning and you're not going to want to invite. You're not going to want to post on social media. You're not going to have the confidence to show up and do it every day. But when you get excited and realize like feeling up, like I get to show up and be myself and hopefully like tell my story and share that with somebody else because I'm, my goal is to help inspire other women to believe and empower themselves. Um, and like, if that end goal means that I get to get closer to, um, my goals, then heck yeah. Like, you know, I'll even say like in some of my affirmations, I'm not going to read all of them to you because they're very personal. Um, but one that I, one that I'll see pop up almost daily is I'm getting closer every single day to my dreams and goals. And I thought this actually was a cool one. This kind of just came to me today. The next one I said, people may tell me no, but that doesn't stop my dreams. Um, and I don't know. I just thought that was a really cool thing. It just kind of came to me. And, um, you know, it's a reminder that again, like if you're hearing no in your invites or you're hearing silence, it doesn't mean that you're not, not getting closer to your goals. And, and I have to tell myself that, like, I have to, I have to literally be the person to talk myself off the ledge, um, more times than not. And, um, so anyways, I, I, it's kind of like, I think this is just, it's been something I've been really loving and I'm really fired up about it. So, um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I apologize if I was kind of just like literally all over the place, but again, I think it kind of just goes back to so much about what Danielle and I've been saying in the team page and in, in our sorry, in our team pages and our pods and everything, it's you know we've been preaching you know consistency and showing up and do your power hour every day and you know um, we've been talking about accountability with our team and like you know and all of that and that's great, but um, you know you need a reason to show up every day 
And your reason has to be bigger than success club. It has to be bigger than a rank. It has to be bigger um, than all of these things. If you know your why behind you, that's what's going to keep you showing up every night. Um, so that's all I have to share. Boom, that was so good. Thank you, Claire. Um, so I want to throw one last challenge out because it's the last week of the month, guys. Why not, right? Who's down for a challenge? Anybody? 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 Come on. All right. So there's 14 people left on this call. That means that there is, well, I did the math for 15, so I'm going to go with that. We have the opportunity to earn $3,000 to go help some families this month by all of us beating our best. And so if you're a new coach, that means helping three people in the next week. The rest of y'all, you know what I'm talking about. Whatever, how many people you've helped, you got to beat it by one person. That's it. So I want you to message your coach tonight and say, I'm going to beat my best and I'm going to earn $200 for my team and for those kids that need help. And if you don't know what international justice mission is, they actually help um, kids and families from human trafficking. Basically, there's still slavery that exists in this world, which is crazy. But our company is a freaking amazing and it's up to us to open our mouths and share what's working well for us. So I'm going to challenge you guys to go after it because why not? Why not? Right? Go make the end of July the best week ever and go make yourself proud. And I'm proud of you guys for being here. So I hope you took your phone out and you took a picture that you are here and you show people how amazing it is to be a part of a team. All right. Go beat your best, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Claire. And I will talk to you guys soon. Wait, real quick. Um, for those of you, maybe if you already haven't, but let's all take a quick selfie. I think that's really cute. We've been doing those on the live power hours. So um, I'm going to do